parliament has begun in the corridors of the August House, hours before parliament resumes following a campaign recess. A source in the ruling NRM party who spoke to NTV on condition of anonymity says local government minister and Buyangabu MP Adolf Mwesije seems to be the party's preferred candidate to succeed Edward Sekandi. NRM sources say another contender for the top parliamentary job is Nakasongola legislator Peter Nyombi, who is also a prominent lawyer like Mwesije. It's still unclear if Deputy Speaker Rebecca Kadaga is interested in the top job. It said Sekandi is headed for a top cabinet job. Sekandi has served as Speaker for two terms. Before that, he was the Deputy Speaker of the Sixth Parliament. However, he is non-committal on whether he will seek another term. I'm not ready at this time when I'm heading the Eighth Parliament, the first multi-party parliament in 25 years, so I cannot talk about that. <laughs> when that procedure is invoked, I will decide. But Sekandi is proud to have steered for five years the first multi-party parliament under the 1995 constitution and set a record. The, the thing is I'll be able to hand, to hand over a multi-party parliament to another parliament. It has never happened. Those multi-party attempts never went beyond three years. What but has mine has gone beyond five. I'll be handing it to the ninth parliament. Isn't it a success? After 15 years as Speaker and Deputy Speaker, Sekandi has served longest in the history of Parliament in those senior positions and he says his record is unblemished. You cannot pressurize me to do this and the other. You cannot blackmail me to do this and the other. And my conscience is my monitor. And my conscience is, is incorruptible. Parliament resumes on Tuesday afternoon from the long campaign recess. Key on the agenda will be the Retirement Benefits Bill, the Chogam Report and the contentious Anti-Homosexuality Bill 